Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Welcome. Hello. I am so happy you could be here for today's live workout, especially after leg day on Thursday. But do not worry. Today's workout is light on the legs. So we're going to start by warming up and then we'll get right in to our workout. The only thing you need for today's workout will be your dumbbells and your mat will be on the ground for a few of the exercises. So let's go ahead. Oh, I haven't seen it up on the screen, so I'm just going to shout it out. Go ahead and start your watch if you want to use that to help you track this workout. And let's start with bum kicks. So taking your legs out wide, we're going to reach here back for our bum with our heels. <clears throat> Hopefully the legs are feeling better by now. <laughs> My legs are a little sore from next week's workouts. So just to give you a heads up, but it's actually the chest and the back that are really feeling it today. That's what we've got going on for week eight of Bike and Bells. So excited for the encore though. I'm really excited we're gonna finish with finishers for week nine, which surprise, if you didn't know, we've got an encore for Bike and Bells. Two more here, here's two and one. Taking a nice solid stance, we're gonna reach and pull. So take the arms out nice and long and pull. So try to keep the arms on a parallel plane here to the floor, extending and then squeeze the shoulder blades, bringing those elbows back towards the wall behind you. Four more and then we're gonna go into high knees. Here's four, three, two, and last one. Now we're gonna march it out high knees here. So bringing those knees up, this workout today, we have seven exercises for the upper and the lower body that we're gonna repeat three times. And we're gonna work for 45 seconds, rest for 20. And then at the end, we have three ab exercises that we're gonna repeat just one time through. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Take it out wide with the feet here. We're gonna go into a sumo squat. So we're gonna take it down and then up. Nice and slow through this and up. Keeping your chest up. We are gonna have sumo squats today, so make sure you're paying attention to the form right now. Three more, and then we're gonna hold it at the bottom. Here's three, two, and one. Hold it down here, hands. Right above your knees, we're gonna rotate, dropping one shoulder down to the floor. You can press back here on the legs, opening up the hips a little bit, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Switch it up. And other side. A Couple more times through this. And then we'll do nice big arm circles and then we'll be ready to get going. Drop that bum down, really sink into the stretch. And up, arm circles here now. We're gonna take it back. Okay, yes, chest, hello. I, I feel ya, I know you were there. Yeah, next week it's chest and back. And then we're doing legs again. Whew, three more. Going into shoulder press. That's gonna be our first exercise, last one. So grab your dumbbells for shoulder press today, just like this. And I forgot to take my rings off. So I'm gonna take my rings off grab dumbbells for shoulder press, and let's get ready. So again, three sets, 45 seconds on the timer. So pick a weight that's gonna challenge you throughout that 45 seconds, but the last 10 to 15 seconds or two to three reps, very challenging. It's gonna be tough to get through those reps. So that's the, the goal with the weight we're picking today. We're going in three, here's two and one. Take your time here. And if anyone was on Instagram and they saw my story when I was like, hey, we're gonna need our worksheet if you bought the Bike and Bells bundle. I was like so off. I think it's because we had filmed week eight and I was like, oh, this is the last live workout for week eight. No, it's not. Next week, if you purchase the Bike and Bells bundle, <laughs> you're gonna need that because that's when we're gonna go back through and track our progress again. So if you cannot make it live, no worries because you know the live workouts are always available. So that is the one, the lives are not necessarily required during Bike and Bells, but that one 
Try to go for that one so you can track your progress. And that is one, nice. 20 seconds, two more sets through. So we're still working hypertrophy during this training session because we're working those three sets. We're working on going really heavy. Whew. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the deal today. That's our training that we're focusing on, hypertrophy. So that's gonna help strengthen the muscles, but it also helps to define and shape your muscles. So let's go again. Set two and let's lift. Keep it strong. You're halfway. All right, so right here, these last few reps, very challenging. It's gonna be tough to get them up. And here's three, two, one. Nice, 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. Whew, one more set like that. So really try to stay focused because with each muscle group we're working today, we really only get those three sets. So try to keep your form, try to go heavy, try to keep, or don't try to keep full range of motion. Make sure you're getting through that full range of motion to maximize each set. Oh, let's go again. Last set and we lift. Here we go, 45 on. Keeping a slight bend in your knees. Make sure your bum isn't sticking back. Your back is not arching, but you're tucking your hips under. Oh my, Jason, I'm gonna need a spot out here because I, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, no. Almost there, then we rest it out. We're gonna move on to bicep curls with a pulse. Here's three, two, okay, thank goodness, one. Oh, bicep curls. So we're gonna do a little three pulse at the top of that, or at, at halfway through that bicep curl. So we're gonna lift it up for three, two, one, down. So we're gonna pulse it out, bringing it up. I'm going down a little bit for what I would normally do for biceps just because we're pulsing. 45 seconds, here we go. So pulse it out, here's three, two, one, and then down. Pulse it, three. Come on, squeeze it, and down. So you can work at your own tempo, I won't count you out the whole three. But really squeeze, so keep those arms tucked in, nice and close, and pulse. Just moving up and down a couple of inches or a few centimeters. Almost there, 20 seconds in three, two, and one, nice. Rest it out, shake it out. Whew. Biceps might also kind of feel it after last week too. Let's get ready to go again. Five seconds, three pulses in three, two, here we go. Pulse it out, here's three, two, one. So just like the wall, we did the wall bicep curls. Um, think, that's what you wanna think about with your arms. So you wanna make sure your arms aren't out here as you're lifting. So make sure they're staying back and tucked in. There's a bit of movement as we do it, but try to stay focused on keeping that back because that's what's gonna activate and make you work the bicep, which is what we're focusing on right now. Ten seconds out. Did you pick the right weight? You've got one shot left if you need to adjust the weight. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. Oh my, that just, Pumps them right up right now. Oh my goodness. Oh. 10, well, almost 10 seconds. And we go again. 
Whew. Let's grab our dumbbells. Five seconds. Here we go in three, in two, and let's pulse. So get that three pulse. Here's three, two, one. Stella's eyeballing me. She's like, you better keep that form right. Uh-oh, Stella. She has to look away. <laughs> oh, and down. Whew. Over halfway, keep it up. We're gonna hit lower body next. So the upper body is gonna get a little break after this one. We're gonna do a sumo squat, but we're gonna change the tempo a little bit. We're gonna take it down nice and slow. We're gonna hold it at the bottom and then we're gonna come up. And one, nice. So for your sumo squat, you know the drill. You can have one dumbbell right in the middle or two right here on the top of your legs. I'm gonna use two today because I've been using one in the middle lately. I like to mix it up with my sumo squat. So let's take it out. Again, follow my pace for the couple, for the first few, and then you can work at your own pace. 45 seconds, taking it down slow. Here we go. So take it down nice and slow, slow. We're at the bottom. Hold it for three, two, and one. Press it up. Take it down slow. Here's eight, four, three, two, hold it, two, and one, take it up. Down slow, now work at your own pace here, nice and slow down. Hold it for at least three to four counts, and then up. Whew, that was not a slow lower there. I was like, mm, back down. Oh my goodness. Push through those heels. We're slow motion. I have to do that when we do slow stuff. I don't know why. And up, 20 seconds. Oh, rest it out. In just about 10 seconds we go again. So we might as well get the dumbbells. Our 20 second break gives us about enough time to set the weights down and then pick them back up and go again. So here we go, slow lower, follow me. This set through, or this rep through, eight. Here's three, two, and one. Hold it, two, and one, up. Let's take it down slow. Count your, your slow tempo down. Hold it three to four counts, and then up. Keep that chest up. Breathing. Ooh, 15 seconds. Nice and slow down. Hold it with me here, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, and up. Wow, shaking on that one, oh my goodness. Ah. All right, 10 seconds we go. All right, let's take it out. Five seconds, 45 seconds on the, cl the clock. Slow down, hold, and up. Here we go. One thing I'll mention too, because we had a really good suggestion on the strength channel on one of the comments, asking if we could put the description of the live workouts in before. So I'm gonna try to do that at least the day before, um, and it'll be up in the morning. So you can at least check, see what we have going on for this workout so you can you know, prepare your dumbbells or whatever it may be. So you know what to expect. So I'm gonna try to do that in the, either the night before or in the morning, so Friday or Saturday, just to give you a heads up in case that's helpful to you. And one, nice job. All right, now we're gonna do an arms up row. So let me just show you what that looks like first, and then you can decide what weight you wanna use. So we're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna keep the arms up, and we're gonna take the weights down from there, alternating sides. So you wanna keep that contraction in the back, and then just lower one arm at a time. So slight bend in the knee, drive those hips back, bring the arms up, and one arm and then the other. Here we go, so take it down and then squeeze. 
So that, uh, that one side that's up, staying contracted, thinking about squeezing shoulder blades around spine. And squeeze. Biceps are working secondary in this, so you may feel those biceps working as well. Almost there. Ooh, did you pick the right weight? Three, two, one. Nice. 20 seconds. And remember with the, with the row, as you're hinged over, think about sticking that chest out. So you don't want to round. So make sure you think about sticking the chest. So you can feel right here, the shoulder blades wrapping around and then row. Let's get ready to go again. Back flat, core engaged, arms are up, and let's go. Squeeze that belly button to your spine. Whew, halfway. Come on, squeeze. Almost there, 10 seconds. And one, good. Ooh, one more, that one is tough. When you're really holding that, you can really start to feel that working all through the back. One more set, 10 seconds we go. All right, let's grab it. So shoulders rolled down and back. Drive those hips back, stick that chest out. Arms come up and let's begin. So take your time as you're letting that arm slowly lower down. Here's halfway. Oh, burn it. Ten seconds. We're gonna work the triceps next. Well, the core is gonna be in there as well because we're gonna do tricep push-ups. And one, nice. All right, so a couple options for this one because this is gonna be a tough one because we are gonna adjust the tempo with this one as well. We're gonna do tricep push-ups. You can do them on your knees, on your toes. You can even do them on the wall. But again, you're gonna take it down nice and slow and then press that wall away if you're doing them on the wall. But Bring it down if you're on your knees or your toes. We're, we're gonna take it down nice and slow. So work at your own tempo, but try to keep it as slow as you can. Here we go in three, in two, and we're going. Good, nice and slow. Now, as you're going slow, think about squeezing those arms right up next to your rib cage. So keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Whew. Now, if you can see, I'm lowering down on my toes, and then I need to drop it to my knees to make sure to push up. And you got it. Whew. Two more sets like that. Those are tough. It really is amazing what a tempo change can do. You're keeping that muscle under tension longer, but just working it just a little bit more. Second set, back into position, and here we go. Come on, nice and slow. Weight is in the heels of your hands. Make sure to keep that body 
your torso, your glutes, your hamstrings, nice and tight. Good, 15 seconds. Slow it down, slow it down. Ooh, four seconds. And one. Nice. Yay, one more set of those. I'm glad. After that, we're gonna do an incline chest press. So right after that, we'll quickly grab our dumbbells for that. Five seconds. Let's get back into position. Final set here. Take it slow. We're going in. We're going now. The time is up. And press. Make sure you're taking it nice and slow. And then power through the heels of your hands. Push that floor away. 15 seconds. Ooh. And one. Oh, nice job. All right, so incline chest press. Grab your dumbbells for that. I'm saying incline, but I need to be saying decline because we're gonna be lifting the hips up. So our body is down. We're getting ready to press in three, two, and one. Now, if you find keeping your glutes up during this exercise is too tough, simply lower the hips just working that chest press. Ten seconds. Exhale when you press up. Did you go heavy enough? Right now, if you are struggling to get it up, you went heavy enough. If you could keep on going after this point right here, maybe consider going up just a little bit in weight. Ooh, 15 seconds. What is it, Jason? Oh, 10 seconds. Five seconds, let's bring those hips back up. Weight stays in the heels here, and let's press. Keep your wrist straight so the dumbbell bar is in the base of your hand and then the fingertips just gently wrap around the bar. So don't try to hold the bar with your fingertips. 15 seconds. Ooh. Squeeze the glutes, come on, keep those hips up. And three, two, one. One more set. Ooh. The glutes are gonna be nice and warm for the next exercise, by the way, which is glute bridge. Eight seconds and we go. Final set for our chest press. Bring the hips up. We go in three, two, here we go. Now make sure the dumbbells are staying in line with the midline of your chest. So you don't want them coming too, tar too far forward towards your belly button, but you also don't want them over your face. So we're not, make sure that it's right in line here with that midline. <sighs> 10 seconds. 
five, three, two, one. Oh, 20 seconds, we go right into glute bridge. If you need to adjust your weight for that, you can go ahead and do it. I think I'm gonna try to stick with this weight. 10 seconds and we go. So get ready, bring the dumbbells into place. Weight stays in the heels. And here we go. Squeeze. Twenty-five seconds. Also, another point I want to bring up. There was also another great comment on the Strength Channel asking, "When I come back down from a glute bridge, should my low back be touching the floor?" Because we talk about that in um, with the abs and everything. And yes, as you come down, you want to make sure you don't want to let your back stay arched as you come down. So you do want to make sure that that back bum touch the floor, then you lift. Last one. Good. Because if you're, if you're rounding at your spine, it could put a lot of pressure, especially with the weights right there. So you do want to still keep a, a flat back when we're doing that. So just as a side note. Oh, four seconds. Back into it. 45 seconds. Here we go. And squeeze. So drive those hips up. Way. All right, 10 seconds. That's a couple more reps. We have one set after this. Oh, amazing. Here's three, two, and one. Good. Oh, resting it here. Hey, last exercise where we have three sets. We're gonna move on to abs next. Just three exercises to go. But let's finish this set strong. We go in three seconds. And let's begin, 45 seconds. Lift and squeeze and down. Squeeze it out good. 30 seconds. Halfway. Ten seconds. Good. And here's three, two, one. Whew. Dumbbells are done. We can set those off to the side, but we will stay on the mat together here. First exercise, again, we're just going through one exercise each for the abs, alternating clap crunch. So we're gonna march the legs out and crunch. You can keep your hand be hands behind your head as well if your neck needs some extra support. Just march the legs up as we go. And here we go. So really get those shoulder blades up off of the mat, contracting the abs. And to help you think about contracting the abs, Think about bringing those rib cage, or your rib cage down to your hips. So minimize that space and shoulder blades up. Fifteen seconds. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, you can stretch it out. Next exercise, hands are gonna be behind the head. We're gonna do a crunch pulse. So we're gonna keep the shoulder blades up. The goal, keep the shoulder blades up for the full 45 seconds, and then just lift up a little bit higher as we go. Going in three seconds. 
Hands are, are just gently holding onto the head. So don't crunch the neck. And let's begin. Exhale with the crunch. Small move. But if you're keeping those shoulder blades up, I will tell you, you will feel it almost instantly with the pulses. Ooh, halfway. seconds. Come on, squeeze it. Squeeze. Exhale. Hear yourself exhale with the crunch. Two. Oh my god. All right. Final ab exercise. Reverse crunch. So for the reverse crunch, hands right next to your bum, not underneath, but right next to it. We're going to lift if you want to add a little extra, you're going to tap the heels out. If not, it's just the lift and the lower. Here we go. Now, if you're tapping your heels to the ground, make sure the low back is staying glued to the mat. So as you lower, you don't want to arch your back up to tap. Halfway. Really get that crunch. Lift those hips up. Bringing those knees back towards your chest as you pull and squeeze the abs. Ooh, five seconds. Oh, that's an amazing thing to hear. Here's three, two, one. Oh, you're awesome. Oh, my word. Way to go. Live Strength Saturday is complete and you're stronger because of it. Do not forget next week, if you bought the Bike and Bells bundle, bring that along for the live workout because we will be tracking some things during that. If you are joining us for cycling, head over there. We'll be there waiting. We'll chat with you in the chat. If you can't make it, that, li that ride will be available, but do not forget to stretch after this. I love you so much and I will see you very soon.